Yo, what's up, guys? It's Magnus here. I just want to make a video explaining um, soul binds, uh, conduits, why I choose to go, why conduits I'm choosing to go, my thoughts behind them, uh, their strengths, their weaknesses, and and things like that. Um, so first things first, I, as Kyrian, I choose to go Pelagos. I think Pelagos is the most well-rounded option out of the three. Uh, I think you get a, a nice mix of offense and and defense. Uh, first things first, you you really get access to your offensive power as Pelagos quite early. Uh, combat meditation is quite literally just free damage. Uh, it just gives you mastery. You can walk through these little blue things that spawn on the ground, and then they increase it by three more seconds. Uh, I think I don't think that I've ever seen more than three spawn. I know on beta, a lot of them used to spawn. You could keep it up like pretty much uh, permanently, but I think they changed that. So yeah, combat meditation is a nice a nice little uh, offensive gain right out of the gate. I think uh, combat meditation and just the instant potency conduit that you're allowed to get is a lot of the reason why classes like One Walker, Rogue, Warrior are doing so much damage right now, and the pace in the game looks so um, fast. Uh, you really just get all of your offense right away, and then the rest of your tree is primarily defensive. So first things first, I fill out both sides of the tree. Um, whenever you're in a rested area, uh, beginning of an arena, you can swap between either side depending on what you want. So here uh, is where I choose to put Crash the Ramparts. Obviously the ranks here don't matter, but I'm just going to fill them in as if it was, you know, whatever. Um, and then over here is where I choose to put Inspiring Presence. The reason I put Crash the Ramparts up here and not somewhere down here is this is a potency conduit. As you'll see that you play this permanently no matter what. I think that Mortal Combo is the best potency conduit. I think it's the best in every situation. It's just my personal preference. Some people prefer to play Crash. Uh, the only issue that I have with that is that if you are playing Crash the Ramparts every single game, uh, it does affect Dreadnought and the Seismic Wave, so it has a nice interaction there, but it kind of pigeonholes you. So I like having that choice. Uh, and the reason that I go this side, if I can, is the offense, right? So obviously, this is a more offensive option because this is absolutely worthless in PvP. It does literally nothing, but this is extremely high value. So um, I, I choose to go Crash the Ramparts in this uh, Focusing Mantra, although it does nothing whenever I am uh, able to play more offensively. Obviously on this side, uh, File of Patience, extremely good. 55% of your health over 10, super good. That's why I put Inspiring Presence here. Um, I'm not sure why the item level of the conduits is so high there, high here. This is probably inaccurate, but you get the point, right? So I put the percentage increase uh, of Rally right here because the higher percentage uh, or the higher number of health you have, the more that your percentage health uh, healing abilities do. So whenever I need more defense, whenever I'm more of a target, I opt to go into this side of the tree. And obviously, which whichever one I click doesn't matter because, like I said, in Rested, you can just click whatever you want. Here is where I put Stalwart Guardian. Um, again, not sure why the tooltips look the way that they do. But this is the Endurance Conduit that I'm going to play almost every game. It's good in every situation. Um, just the shorter your cooldown is on this ability, you can just press it. So, I mean, it, it just it just makes it almost, um, it almost makes it too good. You, there's, like, it, it almost makes it, like, blur. Like, blur is such a short cooldown, the Demon Hunter ability, that just having this on such a s smaller cooldown makes it not as punishing to try and make plays with it. You know, like, trying to parry a Druid's Bash or parry a Kidney Shot. Uh, parry a disarm offensively you know you're not you're not as punished you don't feel as bad if you miss that so obviously uh, that's where I put my stalwart guardian endurance conduit these two things don't matter at all they're completely inconsequential in PvP they quite literally do nothing um, here is where I put my fir uh, my first real potency conduit that I play every game and I always go for Mortal Combo like I said uh, Mortal Combo does have an interaction with Unhinged the Bladestorm uh, Legendary that procs two Mortal Strikes, it can proc, um, your, your Mortal Combo can proc off of those uh, Mortal Strikes, so quite high value there. Mortal Combo can also proc off of uh, Mortal Strikes that are affected by sweeping, so really high damage potential, so I play this every game. Here you have access to either an Endurance Conduit or a Finesse Conduit, so here I put Brutal Vitality personally, and on this side of the tree I put Safeguard. And the reason I do it like this is so that endurance realistically the conduits uh, the endurance conduits are just for yourself they make you your character stronger tankier more, more durable right finesse is team-wide utility so the reason i do it like this is so um i have value here for team-wide because it's a finesse obviously but it's also more you know it can be more of a selfish option up here in the tree but as you move on down here um this i feel like this is the the second best endurance conduit there's a lot of options here they're all pretty bad. Fueled by Violence could be good if you have a really high level of mastery, 
but I prefer to go more haste. And I don't think that the healing percentage of the, of, uh, the like 15, 20%, whatever the conduit rank may be, uh, the percentage is good enough for the deep wounds dot. The deep wounds dot is significantly small right now. So yeah, whenever I'm, whenever I am more of a target personally is whenever I'll pick something like brutal vitality to help myself be more durable. Um, whenever my teammates are more under pressure, I'll pick safeguard. Safeguard, whenever I intervene them, regardless of if I'm intervening damage, what have you, uh, it just has a nice damage reduction component. It's like a little mini shield wall. Even if I miss, say, uh, the kidney shot versus a rogue mage, and or let's say that I intervene them and they walk farther than 10 yards away from me, so I'm not intervening all attacks made against them anymore, they still have the damage reduction component. So it, it just adds another little layer or another added uh, bonus to intervene, so to speak, so that I can just intervene just for sheer damage uh, reduction. Then obviously let go of the pass at the very end. Uh, it used to be versatility, now it's just magic damage reduction. Just uh, just a more defensive part of the tree, making Pelagos kind of more well more well rounded. Uh, before, the versatility was borderline overpowered. It's just it was way too offensive, way too strong. And uh, yeah, they changed that. But yeah, if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to leave a comment or stop by the stream or anywhere you can really contact me, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Thanks.